Hello beautiful crafty people, Michelle here again um, and welcome back to what is my dining room as uh, my makery, my crafting room is still a mess. I have been up there today uh, trying to clean it up a bit but it's been so hot that up in that room where there's no aircon or anything I've had two fans going, the windows all open and it was just too hot to be up there anymore so I'm pretty sure all my items from Spotlight have arrived so I thought I would share it with you oh dear. sorry it's just one of those things that happens um, I placed two orders with Spotlight I think one was um, maybe a Christmas pre-Christmas special and one was maybe the Boxing Day special or it might have been Boxing Day special and then maybe the New Year's sale I'm not a hundred percent sure I can't remember and my order has come in seven packages so I don't know which one is which I haven't really looked I've opened one package but that was because it contained um, two sets of drapes for my son's bedroom and so I have opened that box and also inside that box it had um, a multi-size packet of six alligator clips because I want to make some some hair clips and then it had this one that has six um, regular sized alligator clips also in that package was this hoop because I want to make some wall hangings and this is a 30 centimeter hoop and I've ordered a couple other hoops but we'll just wait and see Hopefully they're in here somewhere. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, and then also in that package was 30 brooch bags. Because I thought I might make some brooches. I don't know. It was all on sale. So that's why it was bought. It was all on sale. So I'll start with some of these smaller packages. And then we will open some of the bigger ones. This package here has, I've, I've cut them all open, but I haven't looked inside them already. What do we have here? More alligator clips. Two 15 piece packages of alligator clips, and that's all that was in that one. Okay, we have this one. It has some cotton in it. The cotton was on a really good sale. So, oh yeah. Sorry. So there were five balls of cotton in that bag, and these are. Oh dear. Getting old is fun, isn't it? I'm sorry if you can hear a noise in the background. It is my fan. As I said, it is summer here in New Zealand and it is very hot. Um, so this is Four Season it's Flinders Cotton, which is an 8-ply, which is a DK weight. Um, see there? And this is 100% cotton and it's a 50-gram ball. And this is the colour Natural sorry and there is 115 meters per ball I like to use this cotton to make um, coasters and that sort of thing <gasps> washcloths coasters lipstick um, chapstick holders that sort of thing so I got four in the natural in that bag and one same um, same details yep and this color is periwinkle so it, it's looking quite purple on the screen to me but it's more blue in person it is later in the evening here I mean the sun's still up but it's just starting to set so it's getting a bit darker um, oh and we have another small package one's in a different bag this one is in a biodegradable bag that's pretty cool and there is one ball of yarn in this bag 
and this is Four Seasons Spot Saver Prints. It's a 10 ply, which I think, I don't know if it is equivalent to a, to a full weight. Let's see. It's a 10 ply, 97% um, acrylic, 3% viscose. It's 140 grams per ball, and this one is called Tweed. And there is um, 232 meters per, per ball. I'm pretty sure I got two. So hopefully in one of these other bags or boxes, there should be another one. Let's have a look. Such a waste of plastic. Okay, I'm opening up one of the bigger ones now. And yes, I can see my other ball, I think. Yes, there it is. So I do have my two balls of this one. Uh, hand wash? I don't think so. Sorry, but it's acrylic. I'm going to put it in the washing machine. Uh, what else do we have? Bella Baby, Baby Bliss Merino. Right. I don't usually work with wool because I do have um, a reaction to wool, um, an allergy or whatever. I come out in a bit of a rash and get all itchy everywhere. Um, but when I do the markets, People come up to me and they go, eh, are you just using acrylic? You're not using wool. And so I've got some wool just to make some baby things. People seem to think babies need to have wool, especially here in New Zealand. Whereas I, um, I think not because a lot of babies are allergic to wool. Sometimes it's scratchy and horrible. I don't like wool. Um, this is reasonably soft. It's 100% Australian Merino, 50 gram ball, um, and it's called Pink. And does it have a meterage? 86 meters per ball, so not that much. I hope I got enough. I was hoping to make just some maybe hat and booty sets, because I do get asked for, for baby stuff a bit. So let's see if I can... It's another one of the same yarn, but this is a natural. Um, and another one of the same yarn, and this is a moccasin. It was on a very good sale. Normally merino is quite expensive. So another moccasin. I think they... The yarn was 50% off most of it. Um, and another natural, is it? Yep, another natural. And another pink. Okay, so I got two of each. That should be enough to make a hat and some booties. I think. Then we have some big balls in here. These are the Spot Saver Tempi Acrylic. 200 gram balls and this is 312 meters now I like to use these to hold with another yarn to to make blankets I usually hold like um one of these with like a mandala or something just so it doesn't take forever it doesn't look like a tin fly look at that it's not very thick at all hmm that looks like an eight ply to me Because you consider this as, this is an 8-ply merino, right? 8-ply merino. Ten ply Come here. Merino, let me see. Sorry. Nice bows. They look pretty close to me. Anyhow, so I think I got four of those. I'm not sure if all four are in this bag. Yes, we have two, three. Oh, what's this one? Four, four in white. Um, I'm pretty sure four is enough to do a blanket. Um, not a huge blanket, but when you if you put two mandalas with it, as well. 
blanket. So let's set back. Oh no, it's not empty. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I also got a set of pony crochet hooks because I haven't tried these ones. Um, pony is a, a brand that's quite readily available in New Zealand, but I haven't had these hooks. I've had their um, there are single metal ones that you can buy, but this one is a set 2.5 millimeters to 6 millimeter, and they feel quite nice and sturdy, good quality. So it'll be interesting to see how they work out. That's what the ends on them look like. So I will have to let you know. I'll put that bag down there and we'll open the other bag. Here I just have a little sip of water. Sorry about that. My throat was getting dry. Oh, something just fell off my table. This one looks like it has more of my cotton in it. And there's four seasons cotton and this is the color off-white and I have two three four of those and then I have two feels like butter and the color what color is this dusty blue 100 grams, 199 meters, 216 yards, 100% polyester. And this is a chain, chain spun. I mean, everybody knows what feels like butter looks like, don't they? Because you can get it everywhere. We can get line brand in New Zealand. Some, not all of them, but some. So, and these were all half price. So, I have some more cotton. In the color amethyst and the color silver and dark blue they don't have any really bright colors which is quite disappointing it always says sold out oh, and then I find a brighter one this one is lagoon Lagoon. That looks like another silver. Another lagoon. Nope, another. What was that one called? Dark blue. I should have figured that one out. And I have three more lagoons here, so I got four of those. I might have been thinking to make. Um, I want to make some little skinny people people tops like not for my size people but little people tops um and i know it's going to take me ages to use all of this but because it was such a good sale and i had the money sitting there at the time um i thought it was a good investment because i shouldn't need to buy any yarn for a long time this one is called dove and it's once again the flinders 100 percent cotton um and this one is called terracotta. More lavender, more terracotta. I'm building myself a bit of a pile here. Oh, I like this one. That's a lovely color, isn't it? Beautiful. This one is called grape. I hope I got more of that one. I like that one. And I did. I have two of those, I think. Um, and another dove. That looks like all the cotton. So then I have some more fuel sack butter. And I have two of those in the colour pale grey. It's beautiful grey. And it's so lovely and soft that feels like butter. Not sure yet whether I'm intending to make how many meters? 218 yards, 199 meters. Whether I'm hoping to make hats and cows, or um, I'm not sure if that's enough. Um, baby sets, like cute sweaters. You know, like that the mini, mini, this one that I made the other day, mini pop ones. 
I think they're so cute. I think they look nice in solid colour as well. And then I have this one which is feels like butter as well. And this is ice. I have two more feels like butter in the colour pink. It's so soft. Maybe I can make a blanket with the feels like butter. I'll make a nice baby blanket. Pink and the soft grey, and the, have I got another one of those? Let's see. Um, I do. Another ice. And then I have two of these ones, which are dusky. That doesn't look dusky pink to me. That's quite bright. It's not quite as bright as in person, though. So, um, dusky pink. And this invoice in there. Right, onto the box. I wonder if I should get some of this out of the way. Mm, I might make a blanket out of that feels like butter. I might, I might. It's not, I think, what I intended it for. But it might be nice. I'm running out of room. I definitely have to clean my craft room up or I'm not going to fit this in there anywhere. At least I can get in the door now. I've got a few things sorted out today. Might go up there later on when it cools down a bit more. Right, I've opened the box up. It's quite a big box. Oh, I've missed a bit. Of course I missed a bit of tape. What's everybody doing today anyway? What's the weather like where you are? Do you live in the southern or northern hemisphere? Is it winter or is it summer? Be interesting to know okay so in here I have four rolls of the big 10 ply acrylic for making blankets and this bright pink which is called da -da -da -da, dark pink and as I said before it's 312 meters of 10 ply acrylic which I'm not sure if that's equivalent to a um a four weight in America. Not sure. And then I have four in this colour, which is natural. And as I said, they were fifty percent off. Um, I can't not buy yarn when it's fifty percent off. Whew, there's a lot in this box. I bought another set of hooks that I wanted to try, which is a set of boy hooks. Um, I've never tried Susan Bates hooks. We, I don't think we can get them here. I don't know what the difference is between a boy hook and a Susan Bates hooks, to be honest. Um, I do have a couple of boy hooks already, I think, but I bought the set. It was half price. So, have a good, good go at that. Right. Now, what is this one? Oh, that's soft. Four Seasons Soft and Hazy. It says it's a 10 ply. So would you say that would be equivalent to a, um, a full weight in America? So if I was going to be doing a pattern that called for a worsted weight yarn, would, would that be all right? Or is that too thin? Please let me know, anybody who has a clue. That would be great. So this is 60% um, acrylic, 30% nylon, and 10% wool. It's only 70 meters per ball and it recommends a 5.5 millimeter hook and this color is called atmosphere and i have two i think in that color and it's slightly more brown than it's showing up i think i'm not sure um i thought i've got three of those never mind i have a bella baby baby wonder this is 60 percent acrylic and 40 percent nylon it's the same yarn as that spotty one I showed the other day. 220 meters per ball. Recommend a four millimeter needle. And this is what we class as an eight ply for a DK here in New Zealand, which is that, that way. Um, and I do have two of those. And did I, oh, the ball band came off. That's not on. Um, and the colour on that, did I say, was silver. Okie dokie. And then I have 
same specs, this is the same yarn, and this colour is Misty Green, and I have two of those. Speaking of spotty ones, I got some more. So that's the one I had before, I think it's called Bright Spot. Bright Spot. That's two more of Bright So I got four more of those. Because they were half price, and when they're not half price, they're quite expensive. So, well, you know, yeah. That's not a cheap hobby, is it? I think these are the same. No, they're not. They're two different colours. Okay, this one is called Grey Spot. Can you see? It has some grey and pink. It. And this one is called Mint Spot. There's minty. So I got those, and I think I got two each of those. Yep. So, and then I got some Hue and Me by Two of Wands, Line Brand, Chunky Wool Blend. So I can make some hats and stuff. It's a five weight. Oops. Five weight. It's 125 grams, 4.4 ounces, 137 yards, 125 meters. They recommend a 6.5 millimeter hook. It's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. And this color is artichoke of those. Oh this one's got a big fluff ball on it. What's that? That's not good. Okay. Actually no. I got three. That's good. I should be able to get a hat and cowl out of those three. I don't know. Because um it's the first time I've bought really a bulkier yarn to use specifically for hats and cows. I normally use, I think the last ones I made I used like a temp fly. So we'll see how we go. And then I got this color as well in the um, Hue and Me, which is grapefruit apparently. Okay. No, sorry, I got three. I think I went a little bit crazy. And then I got, oh here's some more of that Baby Bliss Merino. Um, and this is in the colour Orchid. Why did they put the colours upside down? Oh, and then I got this, which is True Boo. I wanted to make myself a little... Um, I can't hardly see myself. I'm buried alive in yarn. Be a nice way to go, though, eh? Um, the true boo I wanted to get to make myself a little shrug, kind of like this black one I'm wearing, but a, a nice crochet one to wear specifically with this summer dress and a lot, a lot of my other summer dresses. So I got three, and hopefully that should be enough. I've never used this before. Oh, it's very soft. What is this made of? Rayon. So bamboo. Yes. Oh, that feels delicious. 241 meters. 200, oh, sorry, 220 meters, 241 yards. 100 grams. They recommend a... No. What's that say? I've got my glasses on. It's still too small. Four millimeter. Are the looks? So hopefully that should be enough because I just want a little cropped thing. Um, they can go over there somewhere. My glasses are falling down. Um, and here's the merino again. I got a few colours because I thought that when it's on sale, I'll buy a few colours. I can make up a couple of sets, put them in my stall, and if they don't sell, I'll donate them. Um, this colour is Lagoon. 
Hmm, have they gone out as different lagoon? Is it the same colour? Pretty much. So there's cotton and this is the wool bend. Okay. And we're just about here, folks. Sorry, it's taking me so long. Um, oh, this is that soft and hazy again. Yes, it is. 60% acrylic, 30% nylon, and 10% wool. Very soft. And this is the colour cashew. And I have two of those. Probably would only just be enough to make a hat. Um, and then I got four, I think, of the Genie Mandalas because I really like this colour and I'm hoping to make a blanket. I've got a shawl, I think, that I made out of that, but um, somewhere. And then I bought two of the um, Mandala Ombre and Felicity because I have two in Felicity already and I was hoping that then with the four that would be enough to make um, something hopefully for a colleague called Felicity who is having twins. Um, what am I looking for? 315 metres, 344 yards. Yeah, that should be enough. So, and this is quite soft too. I've used the ombre before I made it in my Nisa blanket, I think it was out of ombre for her birthday, for her 21st, and it was beautiful. So that's my haul, folks. Um, I didn't realise that I'd ordered quite so much. I must have gone a wee bit cuckoo. Got caught up in the moment with the yarn sales. It was bargain, it was bargain, it was bargain. So, um, we'll see how much of it I actually get used this year. But, I mean, it just gets added to the stash, doesn't it? And you use it eventually. My kids are like, Mum, you've got too much yarn. You're a hoarder. And I'm like, no, I'm not a hoarder. I'm future-proofing. They're like, what? I said, yes, I'm future-proofing. I'm stocking up on yarn now while I can afford it so that when I retire and I'm living on a small fixed income, I will have all the yarn that I will need. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I don't know if they quite believe me, but um, I think it's good. It's not hoarding. It's future proofing. There you go. On that note, I say goodbye to you, my, my yarny friends, and I will see you next time. Take care, stay safe, bye.